Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody once again to another episode of My Sister's Couch. I am Kita Adewale and I'm truly excited about Jesus and I'm truly excited about you. So today we're doing something a little bit different, a little bit fun, a little bit outside of the box for us because normally we get a chance to come live and we get a chance to share stories and testimonies of hope, health, and he help and healing. And guess what? We're doing the same thing this afternoon, but just with a twist. As many of you know, we have started our brand new collaboration and initiative called, um, I was about to say called My Sister's Couch, but it ain't called My Sister's Couch. It is called Fit for Life, Fit for the Kingdom. Fit for Life, Fit for the Kingdom. And so we decided that we would take this episode of My Sister's Couch to sort of talk about what Fit for Life, Fit for the Kingdom is all about. All right, so once again, I am Kita Adewale, and this is... Um, Takara Reese, my sister in the Lord, a um, dear friend in the Lord, a powerhouse in the Lord, and I just thank God for her and all that she brings <laughs> to help to build and edify the body of Christ in her own uniqueness and originality. And so this is an opportunity for us to really connect and collaborate. Now, it's, it, was, it was so interesting that Takara had um, posted, actually she did a post, on Facebook and talking about losing some weight and us coming together to lose some weight. And she was doing that as God had laid it in her heart. So it helped get the body of Christ in shape. And so when I seen that post, I reached out to Takara and said, hey, hey, wait a minute. Because I had just been talking to a coworker of mine about doing something similar. However, about four years ago, I did a series called Fit for Life, Fit for the Kingdom in a Woman Empowered, which is a, a motivational, it's, a, it's geared towards women and that we help to empower, equip, and enable women to be all that they can be for the kingdom of God. And we do that through faith-based initiatives and all of that good stuff. But every morning, I would do a motivational minute in the morning to start their day, and then in the afternoon, you get a nice little text in the afternoon and so a few years back I did fit for life fit for the kingdom and in that series I talked about eating healthy I talked it was about a biblical approach to us having a real holistic life um, that would please God in our eating habits in our lifestyle and not just physically but mentally spiritually and emotionally and the idea is the better we are fit in life the more fit we are for the kingdom why because our energy energy levels are higher have you ever tried to go to church or you know you're trying to go to an outing or an event you're feeling tired you're feeling sluggish low energy some of us may be uh, some of you all or some of us may have been diagnosed with diabetes or high blood pressure or uh, or uh, kidney problems or um, um, liver problems, anxiety, all types of things. And a lot of things is really just related root causes is our health, the way we're eating. All right. So this is our first orientation uh, for Fit for Life, Fit for the Kingdom. And this is the beginning of the initiative. We actually start on Monday. All right, on Monday, we go full-fledged, full effect. This is the beta of Fit for Life, Fit for the Kingdom, and we're so excited. And so we have, have, we have some sisters here. We have sisters on the way. We have sisters joining us in other parts of the country, and we're just excited about that. And then a key of it also was that we just thought would be a great challenge. We're not really calling it a competition. It's really not that. But a good challenge <laughs> as a motivating factor is for the first First month, whoever loses all, whoever loses the most weight gets all the money. So you talk about what money? There's money. money. There's some the prize money. Yeah. There's money. <laughs> all right. So whoever loses the most weight in the first 30 days, we thought we'd make it so fun um, and, and so inviting and so challenging um, and inspire us and motivate us. Um, and that the money part really is a it's a benefit. But the bigger part is the blessing that's going to occur in our mind, in our spirits, in our bodies. 
All right, that is the, the most blessed part of it. The money is just a benefit of the weight loss. The money is just a benefit. And we can do some great things with a little oh, bit yeah, extra cash, incentive. right? Yeah. It's a good incentive. And weight and, loss at the same time. <laughs> exactly. Me, the same time. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to introduce once again to Kari. She's going to give us a few words. And then we have um, Fonda. Um, Sister Fonda Washington is going to be here helping us as part of our fitness journey because this is um, fit for life, fit for the kingdom, health and wellness campaign. So it be, once again, it's a holistic approach to us being in the best shape that we can be for in life and for the kingdom. All right. And for the kingdom. So we have a biblical approach to how we eat, how we rest, how we do things, how we should work out, how we should put effort, how we shouldn't be gluttonous, all these types of things, which have a spiritual foundation but helps us to grow and mature. And we're helping others in the body of Christ at the same time. So Fonda Washington, she's a fitness instructor. She's well known throughout the city here locally in Augusta. And we are just so excited to have her on board as she will help to, to help us in our little fitness workouts that we're going to be doing. These, you know, these 30 minutes working yes. us out and getting us toned and getting us fit for life, fit for the kingdom. And then also um, we have some dietitians and some um, nutritionists that will be helping us form some great eating uh, plans. We have some great recipes that that have been provided by a wonderful sister in Christ. You all may have remember her. She did an episode of My Sister's Couch. Her name is Kristen Martin, and she provided a awesome, some awesome recipes for us that are low fat, low calorie, and all that good stuff as we are on this journey. What journey? A lifestyle change. A lifestyle change. It's a change. lifestyle change. It's yeah. not just about the body. In the mind, it's a combination, it's a holistic approach to a lifestyle change that gives glory and honor to God first, and then we get the benefit second. All right, so Takara, go ahead. Well, thanks be to God who the head of my, um, I ain't gonna do that. Um, <laughs> you see how excited Kita is about this? I'm like over here like, let's go. Like, how many reps you wanna do? <laughs> but the Bible says in, Third John 1 and 2. Beloved friend, I pray that you are prospering in every way and that you are continually enjoying good health just as your soul is prospering. And a lot of times we can get so fat on the word and we get fat in our bodies as well with so much stuff that we're putting in it. Like she said, it's making us tired. It's keeping us back. It's holding us back. And we know a lot of this stuff that we buy now, fast food and some of the um, stuff that says organic. It's not good for our bodies. We're putting stuff in our bodies that our bodies don't need. And just being able to be able to go outside and walk up and down the streets and encourage somebody to get to know Jesus, you want to be healthy. You don't want to wait till you're on your deathbed and, and trying to do the work of the ministry, but there's some work that needs to be done. So I'm just excited to be a part of it. I'm glad for the sisterhood. This is not just for females only, but for males mm -hmm, too. Absolutely. Not just for older people, but younger people too. Kids. You got obese kids. Mm -hmm. You got kids that suffer with self-esteem mm -hmm. issues because of not being satisfied with how they look. You got people spending bukus of money to transform their bodies. And, and, it's, and it's just all end up being like a lust thing. Like you want to look like this person. I want this so that I can feel good about myself. But with the word, as well as applying fitness, as well as eating right, it's going to bring that holistic approach. Mm -hmm. And it's going to give us that oneness that we need. Even to be able to receive from the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, God got to entrust us with it. He know if you ain't got a lot of years on this earth, he might can't entrust you with this particular assignment and have to go to somebody else. But don't, don't I know I want to be... Fit for life, fit for the kingdom. Mm -hmm. I want to be one of the one that be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. Mm -hmm. So shall I forever be with the Lord type mentality. So I need to be, depression gets on you when you're not eating right. Your digestive system not flowing right. You can't go to the bathroom. Oh it's, it's a whole thing. You know, women, African American women, we carry a lot of stress in our backs. A lot of people got round backs. I have a round back. My back don't supposed to be like this. 
but it, it with, with my posture change and all of that, it makes the blood flow. The oxygen levels through the body run. Everything works for a reason, and God wants us to take care of what belongs to him, and that's us. He said, give Caesar his share, but give God what belongs to him, and that's us. We belong to him, so... Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. And we're and being educated. I, don't you like that? We're going to learn so much about yeah. how to, we're educating ourselves about the digestive system. We're educating ourselves about uh, the stress and um, things that may have, we may have been diagnosed with and just how losing some weight will eliminate, will really eliminate some of those things if we can just shed a few pounds. So it's not just a program it's a process how about that it's not a program it's a process write that down you, write that down that was holy ghost gift given right there just now hallelujah so if you just stick with the process be committed to the process don't be committed to a program because this is not a program it's a health and wellness fitness campaign and it's a process so the 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 um the little challenge um was just in some in incentive but it's not even about that it's about a total lifestyle change and right now i just want to find if you just share a few words and then we're going to show you what we have prepared and then we'll be done with my sister's couch for today Find it. Okay. Oh, well, fitness is my passion. Yes. And just getting that body moving because um, I think Takara mentioned about our digestive system. And moving will make that digestive system move. Mm -hmm. And just to, um, being able to move our body parts because um, if you're sitting idle and you're not doing anything, you'll hurt more as opposed to um, your exercising. I'd rather hurt a little bit, be, a, be sore exercising than not doing anything at all. So um, I want to get that body moving and um, shaping those muscles up, toning it up, get that definition. Yeah. Those and, those and, and then by that, you feel so much better about yourself. When you start seeing your body transform, mm. you, you feel better about yourself. You really do. When you look in the mirror, like, oh, look at the progress. Yes. Look at the, um, um, the um, we're going through the process mm. and we're seeing the progress. Mm. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Going through the process, you'll see the progress. And All right, then. And, and, you, and you stop and feel so much better. And when when you said that that um you look like you've been kissed, because I feel so good. Yeah. Hey. You should feel so good. That's my James Brown. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I feel good. And I want to help everybody I can make feel good too. Well, we're gonna also so we're gonna we're gonna get this process. Yeah. All right. All right, so real quickly before we dismiss, we're going to show we're about to have some good, healthy eating. Um, we have some great food that was prepared by Kristen Martin once again. All right, and so we're just going to show Kristen for a little bit, and then we're going to show our food, and then we're going to dismiss from my sister's couch because we got to eat. And we we got to eat. And we got to plan. And we got to eat. Right. All right, so we're just going to walk over here quickly, and Kristen... All right, this is my friend. I love her dearly. And she was so gracious to help provide us with what, what was the main dish, our main dish keto today? Keto lasagna. A keto lasagna. Yeah, no carbs. No carbs. Mm -hmm. And then what's the sweet? Um, blueberry and strawberry keto cheesecake. And a blueberry strawberry keto cheesecake. Let's take a look at that on my sister's couch. All right. So... I'm going to show, I hope you all can see this beautiful. This is a, the keto strawberry. strawberry and blueberry cheesecake, which is low fat, low it calorie. Have a bit carb, it's low carb. Okay. Woo, look at this nice lasagna. All right. This is our low fat, low carb lasagna, beautifully made. This is keto breadsticks. How about that? They're low fat, low carbs. They, oh, she said not not no fat, but they have a little bit of fat. But this low, it's it, it's cream and cheese, key, cheese, uh, cream cheese. But it's it's low carb. It's yeah. low carbs, and we know a lot of our fat comes from carbs. We have a wonderful mixed green salad coming. We have cucumbers. We have some light meat, of course. We have healthy garnishes. We have nuts. And I think these are craisins, 
raisins. I think, or raisins. Uh, I think these are some few little bacon cherries. bits. Bacon bits. Oh, these are cherries. Oh, no, these are the cherries. The black ones are the cherries. The black ones are the cherries. All right, and so this is going to be our nice, low fat, healthy meal for today. And of course, we have our eggs. We have some eggs also coming uh, for our, our salad. All right, so as we close, we're going to get back down here and we just want to say thank you. We want to say thank you oh, to Carl. Oh. We want to. <laughs> no, we just want to say thank you for taking, making the time. Making the time to be with us here on this episode of My Sister's Couch. And watch us in our transformation. Every periodically, we'll begin posting. Today, we're taking our weight. We're going to do our weight. And we're doing our measurements today. We're excited about that. Um, Takara already has Pilates bars and workout stuff over here for us. Um, ding bed, dumbbells and all that good stuff. We got some but ding guys, bells. We, <laughs> guys, we are having fun. We're making it fun and inviting and so enjoyable to get fit for life, fit for the kingdom. All right. And if you're not a part of it, you should be. What else do you have to lose but wait? There you go. What Come else do you have to lose Come but wait? Insecurity. <laughs> Yeah. We love you and come and join us. We get started on Monday, but it's never too late to still join us and get involved. We get started this coming Monday. Today is our orientation, our meet and greet, and all that good stuff. And we're gung ho Monday morning. <laughs> and, ready. and we're ready. And we want you to be ready with us. Yeah. We love you. Join us next time for My Sister's Couch. Bye bye. Fit for life, fit for the kingdom. <laughs>